All right, so winner's finals here. Uh, this time we're going to be playing best of five, so. Oh, I'm kind of I'm kind of shook on this one because this one could definitely be just a game changer on what exactly is going to happen. Exciting. Who is that going to be with? That's going to be with... Uh, Captain Kane and Mike. Oh, yeah. Those are both very strong players. Mike was having a lot of difficulty. Mike was uh, talking about, you know, he plays this on the PS3 all the time. And basically, that's the emulated version. Uh, definitely a little bit different framework going on there. And mind you, he just doesn't exactly feel that comfortable. Um, I don't know if it's going to become a deterrent. Yeah, or not. you guys are good. I don't know if it's definitely going to become a deterrent or not. Captain Kane seems really in his zone, so who knows how far it's going to take him. Captain Kane sticking to his Molina setup. A lot different. Mike's going in with sub zero. Let's see if we can see a fresh match. Here comes with the slip and slide, and already Mike is looking to close. Captain Kane playing a little bit too aggressive here, I mean, and I feel soon enough he's going to have to adapt. If he doesn't, he'll lose this. And Mike looking really dominant that round. Good punish on that whiff roll. Good jump kicks coming in. Looking in for some low punches. Did not get that uppercut, unfortunately. And Mike looking to return that uppercut around. Mike understanding that fly kick coming in and getting uppercut instead. Oh, Miss Space is that. Gets punished with uh, a a sweep from uh, Captain Kane. <laughs> Captain Kane definitely, definitely has uh, some, you know, potential ability of winning this. I, I feel like he's definitely promising. He's using character that not many people see. So it, it's definitely much of a viability. I feel like he's got that hungry box mentality going on. Man, I did not know you followed competitive melee. I do. That is that is something in common that we we're gonna have to talk about later. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Now I'm I'm into a lot of competitive fighters. I, I I really just I have a genuine love for fighting games in general. Yeah, man. So do I. Uh, I started out streaming uh, melee actually in Houston. Um, that's that's where I actually like originally got into streaming. Unless you count like the early days of like Ustream and like Justin TV, because like I, I actually used to stream Guitar Hero back in the day. Oh. Um, but th when I moved on to Fighters, uh, I started with Melee, uh, then started streaming a little bit of Smash 4. Still stream both of those games, and just like every FGC title uh, that's currently played in Houston. Nice. Wow, Mike just going. Yeah. In. What, what? What a crazy, crazy round that was! Just it was so fast. It was. 14 seconds of just every right decision. Mike looking to return to favor with the ladies and Captain Kane going in with Sub-Zero himself. It looks like it looks like Captain Kane did not want to have a girl on girl mashup. No pun intended. But <laughs> um, as far as anything's concerned, it looks like Mike definitely knows this matchup very well. He's like, I know my character, therefore I'm going to try my best and go for it. But Kane saying, no way, this isn't going to happen. This is this is going to be my round. Round three coming in right now. Good sweep coming in. Katana. Oh, fly kick coming in. Mike knows that's a really good anti-air to go for. Very fast knockdown and throwing in some air balls. Air fireball. Should we call it a fireball or a fan? <laughs> I mean, technically, fireball. That move has always looked really hard to punish to me. That move is uh, it's, it's very punishable, but I don't advise using an uppercut. I'd, I'd say a sweep. Right. Yeah, yeah, sweep or, or slide. What's that put? Uh, that puts uh, Mike in at two, correct? Yes, sir. 
Zero two, Mike up. Ooh, now we have a very interesting matchup here. Captain Kane is going in as Johnny Cage with Mike as Kung Lao. I, I got the I got the privilege of facing Mike's Kung Lao, and trust me, that was definitely not fun. <laughs> um, it's interesting how Mike pulled this out, though, because Mike definitely had a complaint going on to where he didn't understand uh, all of Kung Lao's moveset in the Super Nintendo version. I guess the, the PS3 version is more of a port. It's a truer port of the arcade. For sure. Yeah, it is. And mind you, uh, the framework is a little bit different just FPS-wise. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, like, moves should work generally the same. I'm just, I, I guess he's just not adjusting too well to learning all his moves. Uh, but he does definitely, he's definitely getting the dive kick a little bit better. Looks like he's getting a little bit better into his groove. Kane doesn't exactly know what to do. He's looking for that counter, but he's like, well, nope, there it goes. Good, good elbow coming in. Kane has a long way to go in a catch up though. Oh, and there it is. There it is. And we have the a friendship. friendship. <laughs> Mike is definitely the man. Thank you so much for putting that on stream for all of us. 